the gentleman to my le- le- left to your you uh, keep calling him a muckraker. muckraker. Look it up. Is, is he good the, with that? Are you good with that? I'm okay with it. Okay. Look up the word muckraker. <laughs> The raker of all muck. The, yeah, he's got this farm equipment in the back of his Volkswagen. <laughs> Mr. John Settle is here. Mr. John, welcome back to Keel. How you doing, my friend? I am great. Um, you wanted to come in and talk about the mayor's race. You wanted to come in and talk about the mayor's, as far as the mayor's race is concerned, the finances that are going along. And ever since we announced that, we get all these texts. Literally, Aaron is inundated with texts. Well, you know, Settle is working for X or Y or Z. Or Settle he's has... donating money to X or Y or Z. Or... So so set the record straight. Who you backing, if anybody? Are you, have you given any money? Are you on anybody's payroll? What exactly is the story? The mayor's race, I have given no money. I'm not on any committees, advisory. I'm not on any campaign events. And I rarely get even uh, invitations to uh, fundraisers. So do you have a horse in the race that you're... I do not have a horse in the race other than the best person for Shreveport. So, okay. so far, the muck you have raised is uh, uh, non-discriminatory. In my opinion, it is. Okay. The finance reports were due on the 9th. Uh, some, are, some are published, some are not, some are in, some are not. You have been going over the numbers... What's the biggest red flag that jumps out from these campaign finance reports in the mayor's race? First of all, I, I've had the opportunity to see all five uh, reports. Mr. Savage's report is not online yet, uh, to my knowledge. I haven't looked this morning, but I have a copy of it. Uh, the biggest thing? Yeah, biggest surprise. Well, that uh, from 1 March through 27 September, this is the reporting period. Mm-hmm. That Perkins has outraised Tyler by twelve thousand dollars. Total amount. In total dollars, Perkins has raised one hundred thirty-two thousand in that time frame. Tyler has raised one hundred twenty thousand. Who? And what does that Ty- tell you? What does well, it tell you? Well, Tyler is a well-known. Her name is is well known in Shreveport forever, and mm-hmm. she's been mayor for almost four years. To me, Perkins was an unknown one January. In, in a race in a city the size of Shreveport, given the, I don't want to say market lack of funding compared to other cities, uh, Shreveport is not a big money political town I- I- in the contribution sense. Um, so $12,000 is, is a rather substantial amount, fair? It is. And, and what's even more important is all these contributions in this time period are – substantially less than they were 2014. This I was going to ask you, we were talking about a quarter of a million for the, some of these some folks. Of the, Perkins, no, uh, excuse me, Patrick Williams and Ollie had about a, a quarter million dollars mm-hmm. by this time. Frame. Names on the list that are, are these the usual suspects who give to campaigns, businesses, law firms, etc.? Well, on Tyler's list, yes, uh, on Mayor Tyler's list, she has uh, a substantial number of people who do business with the city of Shreveport. Mm-hmm. And uh, by my uh, review, uh, she's raised about $65,000 plus from vendors or contractors with the city of Shreveport. And that's pretty standard. Well, that's pretty standard, but it it's represents more than 50% of her contributions raised in this time period. Well, you said Perkins has raised $12,000 more. When you look at the individual or the corporate breakdowns on the Perkins campaign, uh, is there as are there as many are there as I many got that answer. corporate sponsors for Perkins and, or is he predominantly individual? Perkins has raised about $11,000 from people who I have identified could be, get work from the city of Shreveport. Mm-hmm. These are are people in the engineering and that kind of thing. Okay. So, uh, but, but is that a surprise? Adrian Perkins didn't get city employees a raise. Ollie did. I mean, why is that surprising? It's just a statement of, con- of fact. What's surprising is this: is that all those the sixty four thousand dollars, those major contributors to Ollie's campaign will probably be looking in the window and saying, maybe we should give some money to Perkins now. Okay. And my guess is that he could probably raise thirty to $40,000 from those contributors who want to, quote, hedge their bets that if he wins, that they still will be in good standing at City Hall. What about the two Republicans? How are they doing in uh, terms of uh, bringing in money? Are they, are they battling that. for the same dollar, I guess? Well, it's it's very interesting. On raising money, Jim Talaferro has raised $31,400. 
Savage has only raised $7,200. Does that surprise you? I don't have a good feel for that race. Probably so. Uh, Talaferra has run for office before, more well-known, and he has the backing of the more traditional Republicans. Savage Given is kind the of fact a Given that in the most recent poll, that JMC poll that had Talaferra, Savage, Savage, Talaferra, second and third behind Miss Ollie, is this, uh, is I, the, I, the, I, it, obviously it's not hurting him. First of all, I haven't seen the poll, so I don't know uh, how uh, credible the poll is. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, there's some rumors around that only landlines were called. I, I have no idea. I have not seen the poll. Uh, but uh, well, actually, Mr. Kubion said that no, that not only landlines were called. So, I mean, we had him on. So. I, I have no idea. The Kitchens poll, have you seen anything back from that yet? I that, haven't seen any polls at all. Really? So, I, I'm the neutral person. All I have looked at is I've observed the campaigns closely and I've reviewed in great detail these reports plus Mr. Savage's online. Mm -hmm. Do you have some names on there? Of people that would make you go, what, why, why are you giving to this campaign? Uh, no. Uh, what I, what impressed me the most uh, was that um, I did not see any names that, that appeared to be, quote, red herrings or would cause, like, why are you giving? Uh, if you look at some of the things that I thought were interesting is that, I'm sorry, I have so many notes here. And the limit's 2500 2500 during the primary. Okay. It was 2500 last year, 25 this year through the primary, and then in the general election or runoff, you can also go up to 2500 Okay. Let me give you some inf some comparisons between Ollie and, and Perkins, if you'd like to know. Mm -hmm. Total contributors to Perkins was 216 This is just time, but Ollie had 158 Local contributors, and I say local Shreveport Bossier, not Houghton, not Benton, or more uh, any surrounding areas. Perkins had 143. Ollie had 128. Other contributors outside Shreveport Bossier, that means all the way to New Orleans, to Houghton. George Soros. To Benton. George Soros' name did not appear. <laughs> In state, Perkins had 20. Ollie had 21. Out of state, Ollie had nine, Perkins had 53. Most of the Perkins out of state contributions were relatively small. A lot of them appeared to be maybe military people or perhaps people he went to school with at Harvard or, or, mm -hmm. or uh, West Point. I have no idea, but there weren't any. Uh, if you want dollar breakdown on it, I can give that to you. Well, we got to take a break. Hang on just a couple of seconds more with John, uh, John Settle standing by.